Item Number SCP-1437 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1437 is to be contained behind a perimeter of two meter tall electrical fencing, which is to be patrolled by groups of three security officers at all times. Any trespassers attempting to access SCP-1437 are to be brought into custody, interrogated, and if found to be ignorant of SCP-1437's nature, dosed with a Class A amnestic and released. Any items or organisms with emerge from SCP-1437 are to be immediately tested for hazards and if found safe, examined further. Experimentation involving SCP-1437 is strictly forbidden. Description. SCP-1437 is apparently endless hole measuring 3 meters by 3 meters, located in the <laughs> desert. Attempts to dig into SCP-1437 from the side result in the diggers encountering solid rock, where logic would dictate SCP-1437 would be. SCP-1437 is thus only accessible from its entrance above ground. SCP-1437 appears to be an access point to an as-of-yet unknown number of parallel universes. Objects have been known to periodically emerge from SCP-1437 at great speeds, including One U.S. quarter, first known object emergence Large quantities of dirt and rocks, believed to be an attempt by a parallel containment team to fill up their corresponding SCP-1437 A map of North America written in Spanish According to the said map, the government of North America is La Publica Popular de Aguas Nuevas, or the People's Republic of New Waters. A photograph of a skyline believed to be a radically altered version of New York's. Structures resembling coral are visible, and a large flying organism can be seen in the distance. Several discs made from solid gold, accompanying the disc with a sheet of paper reading, Please Send Rain. During a period lasting from 2000 and to 2000, numerous individuals most of whom wore D-Class uniforms emerged from SCP-1437. All of them were dead on arrival. Footnote, it is theorized that the nature of SCP-1437 kills living organisms at the point in which crossover between universes is achieved. All emerging individuals carried documents which appear to be their respective universes' documentation of SCP-1437. It is currently believed these D-Class personnel and previously mentioned documentation were sent as a gesture of desired cooperation. Emerge Documentation 1437-1 Item Number SCP-1437 Safety Rating Safe for Public Safety Procedures Unauthorized citizens are to be kept at a safe distance from SCP-1437 at all times. Any authorized tours of the area are to be accompanied by two security officers for their own protection. Taking of photographs is to be permitted. Any citizens attempting to go past safety fencing are to be arrested and handed over to local law enforcement. Description. SCP-1437 is an apparently endless hole measuring 10 meters by 10 meters, located in the town of Promise. Attempts to dig into SCP-1437 from the side result in the diggers encountering solid rock where logic would dictate SCP-1437 would be. SCP-1437 is thus only accessible from its entrance above ground. SCP-1437 appears to be an access point to an as-of-yet unknown number of parallel universes. Objects have been known to periodically emerge from SCP-1437 at great speeds, including one small pyramid composed of concrete, first known object emergence believed to be a building material. Large quantities of dirt and rocks believed to be an attempt by a parallel safety team to fill in the corresponding SCP-1437. A landscape painting believed to be of a location in Scotland. According to the painting, its originating universe of sun is blue and its sky is yellow. Several discs made from solid gold accompany the disc were a sheet of paper reading, Please Stop Plague. A photograph of several scientists. All scientists pictured have unusually long fingers, estimated to be nearly 25 centimeters long. A sheet of paper reading, Thank you, please send more gifts. During a period lasting from 2009 to 2012, numerous individuals, most of whom wore bright orange jumpsuits, emerged from SCP-1437, all of whom were dead on arrival. All emerging individuals carried documents which appeared to be their respective universe's documentations on SCP-1437. It is currently believed that these individuals and the documentation they carried were sent as a gesture of desired cooperation. On the 15th of August 2012, a volunteer from the Foundation, Marco Perton, entered SCP-1437 wearing safety gear, taking with him a copy of this documentation. Emerge Documentation 1437-2 Individual carrying documentation with an adequate physical condition. The phrase, Property of SCP Corporation, was branded on the individual's left arm. Item Designation SCP-1437 Threat Level Little 
Special Containment Procedures SCP-1437 is to be contained behind a perimeter of two meter tall electrical fencing, which is to be patrolled by groups of three security officers at all times. Any trespassers attempting to access SCP-1437 are to be charged with the crime of industrial espionage. Any items or organisms which emerge from SCP-1437 are to be immediately tested for hazards and if found safe examined further. After examination, suitable items are to be auctioned off to interested collectors. Description. SCP-1437 is apparently endless hole measuring one by one meter located in the Outback. Attempts to dig into SCP-1437 from the side result in the diggers encountering solid rock where logic would dictate SCP-1437 would be. SCP-1437 is thus only accessible from its entrance above ground. SCP-1437 appears to be an access point to an as-of-yet unknown number of parallel universes. Objects have been known to periodically emerge from SCP-1437 at great speeds including a statue of what is believed to be a reptilian entity sporting numerous eyes and tails. First known object emergence. Large quantities of dirt and rocks believed to be an attempt by a parallel containment team to fill in their corresponding SCP-1437. A glass bottle of water. A human femur, covered in saliva. A cube composed of several smaller cubes, all of which are different colors. Purpose unknown. A soccer ball. Ball only has five sides. During a period lasting from 2000 to 2000, numerous individuals, most of whom wore D-Class uniforms, emerged from SCP-1437, all of which were dead on arrival. The fact that it is apparently impossible to travel through SCP-1437 and survive has prevented the Corporation from utilizing SCP-1437 for commercial purposes. All emerging individuals carry documents which appear to be the respective universe's documentation on SCP-1437. It is currently believed these D-Class personnel and previously mentioned documentation were sent as a gesture of desired cooperation. Several D-Class personnel have been sent through SCP-1437 carrying copies of this document. Emerged Documentation 1437-3 Individual carrying documentation was wrapped in bandages and appeared to have been blinded in a recent past. Lacerations were present on the arms and legs, and the individual's tongue had been cut out. Object Number SCP-1437 Heathen Level Unforgivable Holding Measures High Priest is to bless the holding site of SCP-1437 every two years and blood sacrifices are to be dropped into SCP-1437 after each blessing. Blood sacrifices are to hold copies of these scrolls as a warning to any demons to stay away. Spirits are to be consulted after these sacrifices and suggested changes to holding measures are to be carried out immediately. Description: SCP-1437 is an apparently endless hole measuring 3 by 3 meters located in the desert. Attempts to dig into SCP-1437 from the side result in the diggers encountering solid rock where logic would dictate SCP-1437 would be. SCP-1437 is thus only accessible from its entrance above ground. SCP-1437 appears to be a portal to the underworld. Objects have been known to periodically emerge from SCP-1437 at great speeds, including several discs made from solid gold, accompanying the disc with a sheet of paper reading, Please Kill Foes, large quantities of dirt and rock, believed to be an attempt by demons to harm the High Priest who was present at the holding site at the time, the broken remains of a human arm covered in saliva, a photograph of a metal bird flying away from a city. What appears to be a large mushroom is visible behind the bird, believed to be an attempt by demons at mocking us. A human eye which moved when touched, believed to be a lesser demon, was burnt immediately. During a period lasting from 2000 to 2000, dead demons wearing the skins of men emerged from the pit. They were thrown back in immediately and the site was re-blessed by High Priest. Emerged Documentation 1437-4 Individual carrying documentation was a heavily emaciated pre-adolescent who appeared to have been lobotomized in the recent past. Item Number SCP-1437 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1437 is to be contained behind a perimeter of two meter tall electrical fencing, which is to be patrolled by groups of three security officers at all times. Any trespassers attempting to access SCP-1437 are to be delivered to our masters above for enhanced interrogation. Any items or organisms which emerge from SCP-1437 are to be immediately tested for hazards, and if found safe, examined further. Any useful technology which emerges from SCP-1437 are to be delivered to our masters above immediately. Description: SCP-1437 is apparently endless hole measuring meters by meters, located in Zone 29 of the Brazilian Sector. Attempts to dig into SCP-1437 from the side result in the diggers encountering solid rock where logic would dictate SCP-1437 would be. 
SCP-1437 is thus only accessible from its entrance above ground. SCP-1437 appears to be an access point to an as-of-yet-unknown number of parallel universes. Objects believed to be gifts intended for our masters above have been known to periodically emerge from SCP-1437 at great speeds, including One diamond, first known gift delivered to our masters above. Large quantities of dirt and rocks, purpose unknown. Bark from the extinct Quercus Buck Lee, delivered to our masters above. The lower half of a human body, delivered to supervising servant of our masters above, it is currently unknown how the gift sender was aware of the diet of our masters above. A document was sent into SCP-4037 thanking the gift giver of the object and requesting further tributes to our master above. A bottle of human intended wine. See Incident 1437-1. Incident 1437-1 on. A bottle of human intended wine emerged from SCP-1437. Recognizing an assassination attempt upon members of our masters above, the supervising servant ordered that a Don Burton explosive device be delivered down SCP-1437. Its orders were followed and the threat appears to have been resolved. This is a reminder of why we must be vigilant in our containment procedures. From now on, I don't want any of these gifts being taken out of containment. They are a clear and present danger to our masters above. 05-1